Hi, I'm Karen Williams, and I'm an instructor at the Aroma Head Institute. This blend is called Energizing Morning Body Lotion Bars. These lotion bars can be made easily without any essential oils or using the oils that I will show you today. This blend uses essential oils that are very familiar to you. The lime that we're using is a distilled lime as it doesn't have any of the phototoxic properties like cold pressed lime has, making it perfect for our topical blend. So to make our bars, we will be using the double boiler stove top method. This means that we are using a pot, which I have back here, and I've put about two inches of water in so that it starts to boil. And in this pot, I will put in a measuring cup that I have my beeswax in. As we go through our recipe, I'll explain to you the method for adding in the oils. So typically, we put the hardest oils in first, and in this instance, it happens to be beeswax. So we get our weight scales ready. I'll turn it on. If I add my glass measuring cup after I turn it on, I always make sure to tear it so that my measurements are exact. So I have it teared and we will be adding 5.5 ounces of beeswax. On the solid carriers, I like to measure them by weight. So 5.5 ounces. One more, there we go, 5.5 of beeswax. Once I have the beeswax measured, I will put this entire measuring cup into my boiling water that I have in back of me. It doesn't take long to melt, so every now and then I'll just give it a good stir. One tip is that you want to make sure that your water isn't too high up on the measuring cup because you don't want the boiling water to go over into your product. So I usually put an inch or two of water into my pot. While we're waiting for our beeswax to melt, we'll measure out all of our other ingredients. Our next hardest ingredient is our cocoa butter. So when our beeswax is getting to the point where it's half melted, I'll add the cocoa butter and melt it together. So we'll put our glass, tear it, and we'll add 3.5 ounces of cocoa butter. Cocoa butter smells delicious, especially when it's the pure cocoa butter. Mm, it smells just like chocolate. So 3.5 ounces of cocoa butter. This gives it a really nice texture to our lotion bars, as well as helps to harden it. So once the beeswax is halfway melted, I'll add this cocoa butter to it. So let's see how our beeswax is doing. It's just starting to melt, so it'll take another five minutes or so. All right, so we have our cocoa butter ready to go. And then the next thing that we'll measure out is our coconut oil. So we also have marula oil that we'll add at the very end because it's a liquid oil and it just takes just a second for this to melt in to our blend. The next ingredient that we'll put in is our four ounces of coconut oil. And coconut oil, when it is in room temperature, below 75 degrees is a solid. And you can see how hard this is. So this is an unrefined uh, coconut oil. It's not fractionated, so it has all of the great properties in it. So I will tear my weight scale. This is excellent to do while you're waiting for your beeswax to melt. And we'll put four ounces of our coconut oil. So, so far we have 3.5 ounces of our cocoa butter, which is a very hard butter, and we have 5.5 ounces of our beeswax that behind us is melting. And you can use this as a template and add in your own liquid carriers and your own solid carriers and use your favorite oils 
and come up with a beautiful body butter bar. Okay, so we have our cocoa butter and our coconut oil ready to go as soon as we are ready back here. The next oil that we'll measure out is the marula oil. Now marula oil is a really rich oil in oleic acid, which makes it very hydrating and it can help increase our epidermal smoothness. It makes a fantastic carrier for any skincare blend. It has antioxidant and free radical scavenging properties, making it incredibly hydrating, healing, and very protecting for our skin. It also has a cooling effect, and it's soothing for many hot and itchy skin issues that we have. So we'll measure out seven ounces of the marula oil, or 210 mils. So this is a 200 mil measuring device, and I will add in, this is a four ounce marula. You can see it's a beautiful color. So seven ounces. And what I'll do is I'm going to add this to the coconut oil because the coconut oil readily melts and as I add my marula oil to the hot mixture, since this is cold and that's hot, it will temporarily solidify and it only takes just a little bit to remelt that. So this is 200 mils and we want 210 mils. So I'll pour 200 mils in there. And then I want 10 more mils. So I'll add another 10 mils. This one has, uh, it's graduated, so it's really easy to use for measuring. And I'm doing all of this while waiting for my beeswax to melt, so it doesn't take very long. Now, what we're using is 40 drops of white pine, 60 drops of our distilled lime, and 30 drops of rosemary chemotype camphor. And because these drops would take a long time for me to count these out, I'm going to actually use and measure them by mils. So 40 drops is about two mils. So I'll put, I have a graduated cylinder here. I'll put two mils of white pine, which is approximately 40 drops. And then I can just do it really quickly instead of having to count each drop. Got our two mils of white pine. And now we'll put 60 drops of the lime. And lime is really makes this blend amazing, really energetic. 60 drops is about three mils. So now I want total five mils. So I'll check out where my five mils is. Right there. It's a really great way to measure your essential oil drops if you have a lot of drops that you're working with. And then lastly, 30 drops of my rosemary chemotype camphor, which is very energizing as well. And that's 1.5 mils. And that is about 30 drops. So I can choose to count them out at this point if I want. Get this going. So my essential oils are ready to go now along with my carrier oils. And I just wanna show you where we're at. This can be very hot, so I use a pot holder. And you can see that we're almost melted. Just a little bit more there. We'll put it back in the hot water until we have just a little bit more. And at this point, I'm gonna actually put in my cocoa butter because it takes cocoa butter quite a ways time to melt as well. As we wait for our beeswax and cocoa butter to melt, I'll tell you just a little bit about the essential oils that we're using. So we put 40 drops of white pine in, which has a very fresh evergreen woodsy scent. It's very crisp and clean, and it has a calming aspect while relieving tension. 
So making way for a really healthy energy. It's got really nice pain relieving benefits as well. So white pine, as most of the conifers do, they open up the breathing and encourages positive energy and reflection. And then we added to this, remember this is a morning blend, so we wanted some energizing oils. So we have our distilled lime. We put 60 drops of distilled lime in. It's a beautiful citrus aroma. Mm, it's so sweet, it's sparkly, it adds vitality to this blend and it improves your immune system. So once again, remember the layering effect is really great to use when you're doing your essential oils. We're energizing as well as boosting up our immune system. Our last oil that we put in is rosemary chemotype camphor. This is a very richly aromatic flowers, leaves, twigs of this plant is what creates this herbaceous, strong, resinous essential oil. And it's been used for a long time, many centuries, to improve our concentration as well as our memory. So it's energizing, it's great for the respiratory system, and it helps with any painful areas. So it inspires a positive outlook. So what a great blend to add to our morning bars to help us start the day off right. So as we're waiting for the beeswax to melt, as well as the cocoa butter, I've been stirring it. And I wanna just show you what it looks like because we're just about ready to add the coconut oil and the marula. Even though it's not quite melted, it will melt readily and to keep it less heat on it, I will now add the coconut oil to this. But as my spoon, the oil solidifies on the spoon, I use my glass stir rod to clean the spoon off so that it all is melted. So I'll put it back on the stove and we'll add our coconut oil and our marula oil. So you can tell we need kind of a large measuring cup to hold everything. So our beeswax, our cocoa butter, our coconut oil, and our marula are now ready. What I've done is I have a hot pad under here and you can tell there's just a few little chunks that aren't melted. But by the time I'm ready to put this down and give it a couple stirs, it will be melted. So with my glass stir rod, I will melt that last little bit. This way I don't have to have it on the heat any longer than absolutely necessary. We've already measured out our essential oils. So we've got our white pine, our lime, and our rosemary chemotype camphor but I am, since it's off of the heat, I'm now going to pour in my essential oils. Mmm, that smells really lovely. You have to make sure you stir it up really well so that you have equal amounts of essential oil in each bar. And while I was waiting for this to melt, I also got my workspace uh, prepared. I have some silicone molds that I really like to use. I pour in my oil and they're so easy to get out. This one has some flowers on the bottom or you can get some plain ones. This recipe will make approximately four four ounce bars plus about two two ounce bars. All right, so it looks like this is totally melted, totally ready to go. I'll go ahead and move this out of the way. And I'll start pouring into my molds. You don't have to fill them all the way up. These are great for traveling as well because they aren't liquid. They're solid, so perfect to tuck into your suitcase. So we've got four of those. And I'm gonna put one into this long one. Now I like to let these set for at least 24 hours. And what I've done for ease is I have a little chopping board underneath here so that I can move this and let it set somewhere to cure. And while it's curing, I have some extra silicone containers that I just put right on the top so that I can protect them and keep the essential oils in. In about an hour, you'll see that they have solidified, um, but I still like to wait for about 24 hours. 
And then I made some ahead of time so that you could see what they look like. So these are the ones with the molds on them. You can see them. And these long ones I have cut in half so that they're really easy for traveling. It smells so good, it rubs in so easily, and I really hope that you've enjoyed these few easy steps that it takes to make these amazing, energizing body lotion bars. So breathe deeply and enjoy the calming effect as well, and the added benefit of opening up your lungs. What a great morning routine. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and, and if you have, be sure and like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.